There is one company where cancer centers go to get highly technical hyperthermia machines to fight cancer. And that company is based right here in the Salt Lake Valley. Pyrexar Medical claims hyperthermia treatment can double the effectiveness of radiation and chemo. It started in 1978 here in Salt Lake City. Pyrexar Medical took over the business in recent years. They manufacture medical equipment used to give people with cancer a second chance at life. These machines are located in Cancer Treatment Centers of America, hospitals nationwide, and right here at Gamma West Cancer Services in Salt Lake. They saved my life. Paul Turner is the Chief Technology Officer at Pyrexar. We're the only ones in the world that have developed this type of technology. They continue to make advances in their hyperthermia machines. A system we have here is a system we developed that uses a phased array technology. This is where we uh, have an array of uh, antennas that surround the patient's body okay. and from all different directions direct the energy into the heated area where the tumor's at. So we have large versions of this that go around the whole body to treat pelvic tumors, uh, abdominal tumors, as well as tumors of the leg. Advancements in technology allowed Pyrexar to integrate heat-focused technology with MRIs to treat tumors deep in the body using FM frequency. Only a handful of institutions in the U.S. are using this advanced upgraded hyperthermia treatment compared to 250 plus in Europe and Asia. Berlin was one of the earliest adopters of hyperthermia. We spoke with professor and medical doctor Peter Wust via Skype from Germany. You, you guys were the first in the world. So in 88, we started with uh, deep hyperthermia and at that time, this was the most modern system uh, in Europe and in the world. Have you opened wide? Dr. John Hayes with Gamma West is using Pyrexar's hyperthermia equipment to fight Janice Buck's cancer. I know that cancer is, a lot of cancers are fatal and um, my type of cancer is not a good one. After exhausting other traditional treatments, she's undergoing hyperthermia for lung and bladder cancer. She's hoping to live a bit longer. I bribe all my doctors to have them have, have me healthy enough to enjoy my Christmas with all my grandkids this year. Eleven of them, including 18 great grandkids. Dave Vincent, CEO of Gamma West, West Cancer right? Services, says they've Not been confident in this treatment from the beginning. More studies still need to be done, but that this treatment should not be swept under the rug. Institutions just gave up because it was hard to do. But Gamma West stuck with it to help people just like Janice. We wanted to be able to provide a therapy to those patients who may have had um, exhaustive treatment. So their primary therapy may have failed and they didn't have a whole lot of outlook so now the question becomes, why aren't more hospitals using hyperthermia as a helper, at least in the U.S., to make radiation and chemo more effective? In some cases, doubling your chances of survival. We're going to dive into that question tomorrow night. And so it is fascinating that you talk to people in Germany, Europe, Asia. Mm -hmm. They have never stopped using this. You're talking about 1980s where they've used this, and now they're using so much more advanced technology to fight cancer, certain cancers. And we've certainly seen people who are glad they've gone through it at this point. And they're surviving. Their yeah. survival rate is also doubled. It's, yeah. it's pretty amazing stuff. Well, like she was saying, I need more Christmas with my grandchildren. I need time. Right? I just need mm -hmm. to, and the quality too is also increased. Yep.